Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Up Comedy. I'm back with another Dokkan battle video. So at this point, I'm sure a lot of you already know that at least one of the new events coming to the global side of the game with the thank you celebration is the Copy Vegeta story event. And in today's video, I just want to give you guys a quick breakdown and overview of the event itself so that everybody is prepared and ready to go once it officially drops. So if that sounds good to you, then keep watching and let's jump into it. So first things first, the release date is November 12th, 2019, which is two days from now. And that is also when the thank you celebration officially starts and the increased drop category for this event is the artificial life forms category. So if you guys are planning to farm the event for the drop characters or medals or anything else like that, then make sure to bring as many artificial life forms units on your team as possible for the biggest boost and also the most bonus drops, right? It just saves you a lot of time. So uh, definitely do that. And there are also two new free to play characters that are coming with the event, a STR Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, as well as the AGL copy Vegeta, who does have a Dokkan Awakening. And we'll get into the details for both of those guys in just a second. But let's take a look at the event itself first. And we're gonna do a quick stone count because I know that's pretty important to you guys. So we can expect one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, let's see, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14 total Dragon Stones obtainable from this new story event, 8 from the stages, and then you get 2 for clearing stage 1 on Z-Heart 30 times, stage 4 on Z-Heart 5 times, that's 1 stone, 2 stones for Dokkan Awakening, the uh, copy Vegeta, and then 1 more for filling out or just unlocking the hidden potential paths for the copy Vegeta. So a total of 14 stones, not too bad. I mean, obviously we've seen better from other events, but 14 is still pretty good. All right, so 14 stones total right there. And there is also a new Baba Shop item you can farm here from stage one that you can use in the Baba Shop for some pretty standard items like some Kai's, some uh, Supreme Kai and Elder Kai medals, some training locations, uh, Hercule statues, and also training items. And also you can get these Copy Vegeta medals, which you need to token awaken the Copy Vegeta, right? So that's pretty much all there is to see on this page, I believe. Oh, also you can get some AGL orbs. Not a ton of orbs, unfortunately, but a decent amount just for uh, getting this guy to SA7 and also um, unlocking two paths. So on your way to getting that one stone, you're gonna do it anyways. So uh, some AGL orbs as well. And I think that is all there is to see here. So now let's move on to the next page where we're gonna take a look at the STR Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks' details. And this guy actually does not have a Dokkan Awakening yet, but even without that Awakening, he's actually not too bad. And once he does get an Awakening, I can see him being like really, really freaking good. For a free-to-play unit and the more exciting thing honestly about having this guy in the game now is that it makes the other Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is farmable right like the tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and the physical Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and any other Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks that come out in the future will all have farmable super attacks at this point I know it's kind of late so most people that have been playing this game for a while probably already have both those units um, you know, Super Attack 10 completely done, but if you are a newer player or you just got your physical Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks or Tech Go Tanks recently and you haven't put in the work yet, then I would hold off for just a couple of days and uh, farm out this guy to get the free Super Attack, all right? So that's pretty exciting, I guess. And let's go into his details now. Leader skill is Super Saiyan 3 category, Q plus two. HP, attack, and defense plus 30%. Super attack is die, die, missile, barrage, causes supreme damage. Passive, I'll defeat you in a single attack. Key plus 5, and defense plus 50% for 5 turns from start of turn. And then attack plus 90% when performing a super attack. So like I said, not too bad. Um, he's not crazy or anything like that. We've definitely seen better free-to-play units, but still respectable for sure and then his links are super saiyan fuse fighter over in a flash limit breaking form innocence and budding warrior and his categories are fusion hybrid saiyans super saiyan 3 and youth and that is all you need to know about the go tanks at the moment so next up is the copy vegeta and he has a dokkan awakening like i said so let's actually pop over to the awaken form here all right so Cloned powers, duplicate Vegeta. So they're calling it duplicate Vegeta now. I like copy Vegeta better, but 
it is what it is. Uh, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, or Super Saiyan Blue. And he is an extreme class leader, keep plus 3 HP, attack and defense plus 40%, um, which is not completely useless. It is a very low boost, but at the very least it's key plus 3, and it's all extreme types. So he's a very, uh, very much a budget extreme type leader if you don't have any other ones. Uh, super attack is clone rush, causes supreme damage and lowers attack and defense. Passive is copied ability, attack and defense plus 60% plus an additional Attack and defense plus 30% up to 90% at the start of each turn, and all enemies attack and defense minus 30% when there is a Vegeta's family category enemy. So here's the thing, on the surface, it looks quite good because if you don't like look too hard, like look too deep into it, you're like, yo, this guy can get up to 90% after three turns, like three appearances, in addition to attack and defense plus 60% and also debuffing the enemy, that's really good, right? And then you realize that this whole part, like this whole part of his passive is uh, contingent on you facing a Vegeta's family category enemy. So if you're facing anything else, then his only passive is attack and defense plus 60%. So for example, you're fighting like a Goku or like Broly or something, or basically anything that's not a Vegeta's family unit, uh, enemy rather, then he's not that good, which is kind of sad. Um, I feel like they could have made him better. I really do. I feel like they could have, you know, made this part at least, like the attack and defense part, um, not, you know, based on what the enemy you're facing is. I think that would have been a better design, but maybe that's asking for too much. I mean, he is a free-to-play unit at the end of the day, so I guess it doesn't matter too much, but I do feel like he's a little bit disappointing, in my opinion. I'm still gonna rainbow him, I'm still gonna farm him out because he's, he's dope, right? Like, I love the character, but um, I just feel like he could have been better, honestly. So uh, that's his passive right there, and then his links are Metamorphosis, Infighter, Tough as Nails, Talking Speed, More Than Meets the Eye, Prepare for Battle, and Shattering the Limit. So at the very least, he does have Prepared for Battle, but the rest of his links, um, I mean, Shocking Speed is good. The rest of these, though, are like kind of iffy Metamorphoses you can use, um, you can get like on some villains teams for sure. Um, he's an okay unit, man. Like, he's not terrible. I don't think he's terrible. I just don't think he's that good. And his categories are Transformation Boost and Artificial Life Forms. And, uh, that is pretty- yeah, as you can see, each boost of attack and defense plus 30% at the start of each turn lasts for 99 turns, meaning that defeating all Vegeta's family category enemies will have no negative effect. So essentially, um, if you are facing a Vegeta's family category enemy, the boost he gets from that part of his passive just- it, it does stay, like, forever for the rest of the fight, but, um, unfortunately he doesn't get the boost if you're not facing the Vegeta's family category enemy. And, um... Yeah, I guess that's pretty much all there is to talk about for this event. Obviously, there's no other duplicate or copy Vegeta's in the game, so you can't use him to farm the super attack of any other units right now. But you can use the Go Tanks to farm the other two Go Tanks and any other future Go Tanks that come out. And I'm sure we'll get another one um, sometime in the future. And uh, that is the story event, guys. Vegeta's Demise, The Secret of Planet Hadafu. Or Pataofu, I, I still don't know, I, I'm not really sure. Still terrible at pronouncing things, obviously, as you can tell, <laughs> but that's not important, doesn't matter. Uh, that is the story event, guys. Hope you guys are excited, hope you guys are excited also for the thank you celebration as a whole. Um, like I said in the beginning of this video, I said this was one of the new events because I, I'm sure there's going to be more, uh, possibly another story event, possibly another... Um, new Extreme Z Awakening. Hopefully, fingers crossed, the Golden Frieza, but I'll take the Goku Black as well. Um, and I'll, I'll, of course, take the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku if Bandai wants to throw us a curveball. I don't expect it, but it's definitely possible. Oh, of course, we're also getting the uh, LR Trunks. I guess it's not a new event, more so a campaign, but the LR Trunks Legendary campaign. So that's pretty exciting. And um, yeah, only two days away, guys. Just wanted to give you a little breakdown, a little overview, so that you guys are fully prepared, fully knowledgeable about this event before it comes out. And uh, I'll be back with some more videos very, very soon about the upcoming events, with some news and all that good stuff, so stay tuned. And that's it, guys. As always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, 
hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcut Media, signing out.